Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your video. This is for the beginning of July. And see what messages are for Pisces. Pisces. Oop. A card come out already. Oh my goodness, the Three of Cups. That's a nice card. That is a card of going out, dating, having fun, being happy. Um, so you might, we'll put that here in the center. So you have Three of Cups. That's nice energy to start with. Again, that fell out of the deck. Page of Wands. You make an invitation to go out, maybe a date. A Nine of Coin can be the single person card. Three of Swords. All right. Eight of Wands. So you may be, you know, Three of Swords does not have to be complete heartbreak. Um, you know, it can be just loneliness or sadness, which is just as bad. But, um... It can, so you maybe, because it kind of looks like you're single, you're kind of lonely, then out of the blue you get some messages, maybe you meet someone. Um, and you could go out, so they're showing you that's kind of the center of your reading. So let's see what else. Judgment, starting over, doing something differently. Four of Cups, having an opportunity. So you will look like you will have an opportunity coming in. Emperor, the Knight of Cups, and you're worried though for some reason. The outcome is worry, so I'm not sure why. So for Pisces, okay, Three of Cups. Justice, so I feel like you deserve this. You've been through a lot. Um, you deserve some fun. You deserve to be happy going out, whether it's a date or just with friends. So what is the Page of Swords? I'm sorry, the Page of Wands. I'm looking at the Nine of Swords. I'm like, why are you ending up worrying or overthinking this or it's keeping you up? I mean, it doesn't have to be worry, but okay. So maybe someone came up with some ideas. Seven of Cups is like things to do, ideas. Nine of Coin, Nine of Coin. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting. You've been waiting. Um, you've been waiting for love or waiting to hear from someone. For some of you, this... It could be someone that you already know. I don't, I'm not going to say someone from the past. I feel like it's just someone you may, might know. So that might be where the worry comes in. This almost feels kind of like a friendship type of thing that may turn into love for some of you. Um, it's why maybe we have that. Someone comes in. Maybe it's a, I always get for a few of you, there, it definitely could be a friendship. Um, and one of you have liked the other for a while now. There's some type of attraction there. And now you're single and they want to take you out and you maybe there's romance or romantic feelings or something else happens. Um, three of Swords. Yeah, world. Something ended. Something's over. But that's okay. That's in the past. Um, eight of Wands. Whoops. Temperance. So either you're trying to move forward with the Eight of Wands. It's taking a while or... You want to go out. I'm kind of getting like, you have these ideas. You want to go out, but you weren't. You didn't want to. You were staying home. You were feeling lonely. Um, and then someone comes along and says, uh, you know, let's go out. Let's go have some fun. We have these ideas, and you deserve it. Justice is like, you deserve this. Go have some fun. Judgment. Uh, oh, intuition. So, yeah. So, I get with some of, the, some of you, there's underlying, like, I don't get that this is a bad thing, but I feel like there's underlying feelings for someone. Either you have them for them or they for you, and it's and like listen to your intuition. But it's not, I don't think, a bad thing. For some of you, you may not be interested. Yeah, you may feel like, no, that's kind of like my brother or my sister. I'm not really interested. How do I break it to them? For others of you, um, maybe this is someone that you're very attracted to. But let's see, Four of Cups, Four of Cups. There could be someone... Yeah, very happy. Exactly. You get this this um, opportunity to go out, and you have a lot of fun, Nine of Cups. It just looks like it's fun. You're happy. You're going out. You feel better. The Emperor. Who is the Emperor? Nine of Wands. Okay, this is the energy around you. So that the Emperor can be, you know, someone who, this was probably from your past. You might run into your ex when you're out just so you know, but that energy there, because this is around you, your nine of wands worn out. Um, so I, I could definitely see that just also popping into your reading. It's just saying, warning you. If not, this could also be, you might still have to deal with your ex or someone, you know, saying things. 
or you could just be worn out period um, and they may not, may not even be around anymore you don't have to talk to them but just that's just showing nine of cups you also I was gonna say you may be tired of like rules you may be tired of having to do everything right ha have rules so you just want to kind of let go and let loose in this reading when I see this have fun um, yeah six of cups it doesn't surprise me because I feel like for some of you for some of you, this is someone from the past, but it's not necessarily an ex. It's someone that you already know. So it's not necessarily from the past. It's like a friend. Um, and it's almost like for some of you, some of you, this is a hope. Like this is a good thing because there's a bond between the two of you. You guys uh, really care about each other. Maybe some, for some of you, this is a fear because it is a friendship and you feel like brother and sister and you're like, uh-oh. But either way, I don't think it's a horrible thing, but... For others of you, this could be this could be someone completely new that you meet out when you're out and you find them very attractive. You have a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be someone you know. So nine of swords. Why are you worrying? Nine of coin. Because you're single and you want to be single. And you're manifesting. But why would you really worry about that? Whenever I get cards like that, one thing I would think of is that maybe you are maybe you don't want to rush back into love and you're really thinking about this. Maybe you were working on becoming single. You wanted to be single for some of you. I don't get anything bad though. I don't get like there's a third party involved, even though the three of wands. I don't get that. Um, you're just really thinking this over because I feel like for some of you, you already had plans with the Three of Rods. Like you already had plans for yourself. Like maybe you were going to travel or you're going to do other things. And now this is changing, changing what you're thinking about. Let me put one more card on it. Like you, maybe you're getting used to the way it was. Um, and this will change it up. Hierophant. Well, Hierophant, again, does represent a relationship. Um... So maybe there's just some type of a concern or worry around this relationship um, about moving forward with it. Maybe this person, I don't want to say they're married or anything like that. Maybe you're thinking they are. You don't know. You're not sure like if they do have someone else or they're attached. But again, I just feel like overall your reading's good. So actually what I'm seeing here is like it's kind of like you're negative like you're worried or you're, you're sad or you're lonely or some energies here from ending. You go out, you have fun. Um but I think like your intuition maybe your intuition kicks in about this person and you think I wonder if this person's married. So this might be something you don't know for some of you. Others of you, I can see this playing out in different ways um for all of you. But I feel like it, it just have fun, you know, enjoy yourself, don't overthink it. Um, don't get too attached, maybe is what they're saying. You're going to meet someone or go out and have fun and just enjoy yourself, Pisces. And, and you've been through a lot, I feel, anyways. Uh, you deserve a good reading, so don't... Um, and this isn't set in stone. So this is just saying where your mind might go, your thoughts. You might worry about this, but don't. Have fun, okay, because you guys deserve it. And just enjoy yourself. So have a great first start of July, and I'll talk to you mid-July. Mid